Welcome back to Min Arab. This is going to be my spring summer routine since getting married. First things first, after I get ready and head outside, is to let our cat Remy out so she can roam during the day. We can't let the other two roam yet because they're not fixed. After I let Remy out, it's now time to head out to the barn. When I walk up to the barn in the morning, the horses are always there to greet me. Runa and Indy always like to say hello, which I find adorable. I walk in, turn on the lights, and go straight to preparing the horse's feed. Runa and Indy are fed one scoop in the morning currently, unless I see no change in their weight gain. Then I will slowly increase. Summers are hard on Indy, as she tends to get quite hot during the day, even with daily water cool downs. Her weight has fluctuated more than I have wanted, and the heat is making it hard to figure out how much to give her, especially since I've only had her since November. To cut down on the chaos, I feed them first, so I can put them in their stalls. Then, I don't have five horses running around like maniacs in the middle of my barn. Brenna is fed first because she is top of the pecking order, and Indy is second because she is also at the top as well. Next, I get the minis feed ready before I let them out, so they all aren't trying to get in the feed room. Dash, the little white pony, stays out with the Arab mares in the main pasture, so he's always peeking his head in, checking that I am making his food for him and also telling you to hurry up. Princess and Dash get the same amount one pound of their individual grains. Princess is on a low starch diet in the dry lot with Tilly because she has a tendency to founder if she gets too much green grass. Tilly gets a half pound of grain because she stays fat on air. And the only reason I give her any grain is for the vitamins and minerals. This particular morning, we were still figuring out who is on top in the pecking order. Since this video, I have now figured out that Princess, the chestnut and white pony, gets fed first because she is at the top. Dash gets fed second, and Tilly is last. Which I never thought I'd say, because Tilly has always been a food hog and has never been afraid to voice her opinion. I do the same thing when it comes to feeding every morning, because the horses are creatures of habit and thrive on routine. Since Princess and Tilly are on a dry lot with little grass, I have to give them hay nuts. And yes, the black one does have a hole in it that I have since fixed. These are slow feed hay nets, which tend to make them a little more durable. However, nothing man-made ever lasts forever. Although, these have lasted me a good year. After I've gathered the hay nets, I walk up the barn aisle and into my hay storage area. I like to put the hay nets up on this mesh thing it makes it easier to put the hay in there since I don't have a fancy hay net spreader. It tends to get quite hot here in the summer, even early in the morning. Both minis get around three flakes each. Storing my wheelbarrow here serves two purposes. It keeps Dash out and offers me a place to keep the wheelbarrow. Then I go back out to hang up the hay nets. I hang these hay nets up because it helps prevent the hay from going to waste by getting trampled, peed, or pooed on. Then I go back inside the wash stall and turn on the water to go take care of the horse's water. I have to scrub this thing out every two days because, well, one, the algae grows in it, and two, Tilly goes and paws in it, and she gets it extremely dirty, so I have to do this quite often. Then, when the water is filled, I turn off the water, and the ponies are now ready to go back in their paddock. Tilly is always off somewhere grazing, which sometimes means I have to go off a little ways to go get her. But this particular morning, she definitely didn't go far. So I give her some cuddles, and I lead her back to her pasture. She's quite easy to lead, 
and she never complains about going and eating her hay. In this particular video, I have Princess, but her owner sold her, so now I just do the same routine with Dash. He goes in with Tilly. The ponies usually go out without any issues because they always know that there's hay out there, and these guys live for hay, even though they have a bunch of grass in their field still. And yes, in this video, Dash does have a weepy eye. That his is blind eye, and he has a thing called uveitis. It is a reoccurring infection that I have a steroid cream that I put in his eye about two or three times a week, depending on how weepy it gets. It's something that I can't really control, even with vet's help, but we do as much as we can to keep him comfortable. And it really doesn't seem to bother him at all. The next thing that I do is I go and put everything in its place, put all the lids back on the containers, and just kind of clean up a little bit from the morning routine. Now because it has been so hot and the horses are losing a little bit more weight than I went to because of the excruciating heat, sometimes I do keep them in the stalls during the day, um, but this particular day it was cool enough that I didn't have to. Then I usually walk up to the house, say goodbye to the animals, and go do whatever I need to do that particular day. And that is the end of the morning routine. Now I do a night routine, and this you clip is the first clip of the night routine where Come I on, take my cat, she's out during the day unless it's rainy or we're gone, and we go and we put her in a cage for the night because we have coyotes and We've had some cats disappear in the past, um, so we keep them locked up at night just for their safety. Sometimes she doesn't particularly like going in there, so we have to pick her up and kind of shove her in there gently. Um, and this is our other cat, Chessie, who I am letting sniff me. She is Remy's mother, and the cat on the right is her father, Jax. It's usually a lot more cooler and pleasant in the evenings, so I tend to take my time going outside and going up to the barn because it's nice and cool. And this particular day, just look at that sunset. Unless the horses are in the stall during the day, they always come and greet me like this. So the first thing I do is I stick them in their stalls, very similar to the morning routine, and get their food ready and give it to them. After I have given Indy and Brenna their grain, I go out and check on the minis to see if they have enough hay to last the night. If they don't, I give them more, and also I check their water. And this particular day, they did need more water, so I went and filled it up, and Princess was trying to eat my camera. And my phone is my camera, so I really didn't want her eating it, um, but she was bound and determined to, so I kind of had to stop filming. <laughs> Since Dash's eye was weepy that day, I decided to look at it later that day and put some medicine in it. And here's me putting the medicine in it. He absolutely hates it when I do this because I have to stick it in his eye. Um, but poor boy, he, he's pretty good about it. He usually shakes his head to let me know that was the end of the world and he cannot believe I just did that to him. The minis don't get fed in the evening, so I turn out the light, let Brenna and Indy out, and then I head back up to the house. I am very fortunate to be able to live out in the country and to be able to enjoy views like this. I just think it is absolutely incredible, and I thank my parents and everyone who has supported me in my horse journey, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs>